We got an interesting escalator question. 25 people standing on it. And moving with the speed. The average mass of a person is 78 and the angle is 40. What's the minimum power required to lift these people? When you see an escalator question and they didn't give you a picture, draw the picture. Or at least draw an inclined plane. So imagine there's an escalator like this. And there's you know a lot of people going up the escalator. But let me just assume that all these people is just a clump of, I don't know, something that the escalator will carry up. Okay, so all this people and stuff is going up at a speed of 4.3 meter per second. The escalator has to put in some power in order to do that. But how heavy is this total thing? Well, we need to know the weight, right? Hmm, eventually we'll get to that. Okay, anyway, uh, 40, 40 degrees. Let's finish our picture first. So this is at an angle 40 degrees. You can imagine if it's steeper, you will need much more power to do that. So we need to find power. Power is the force exerted by this escalator system times the velocity in which the object or objects are moving at. So if you want to do a calculation, what is the force? Velocity we know is 4.3, but what's the force? This is the one that is the tricky part. So based on our diagram, you need to know that, okay, firstly, this clump of mass, let me just say this, this is representing everyone's mass, has a certain weight. That weight can be resolved into this direction, the horizontal direction. Also known as, well, if you draw a triangle this way, this one lah. Okay. This is WX, I'm going to call it. A component of weight down the slope or down the escalator. Now our poor engine has to fight the WX to push everything up. This is the force that we need. So how do we find WX? If we can find WX, we'll be good. So, to do some inclined plane magic, <laughs> inclined plane magic, let me redraw the triangle. This is the weight. This is Wx. And due to some trigonometry, this is also 40 degrees. Angle between the horizontal and the slope is also that angle there. So, this Wx, really, you can express it as W so opposite hypotenuse sine uh, 40. Uh, 40. W sine 40. Lo. So that would be the component which is equal to F, which is the engine, or what's the engine exerting. Now we can do some calculation. So the P equals to force times velocity. So our force here will be W sine 40, so mg sine 40, times the velocity in which everyone is traveling at, so 4.3 meters per second. Okay. Mass, what is the mass, the total mass? Uh, you have 78 kg, you have 25 people. So you need to multiply everyone. 25 people, about 78 kg each, times 9.81. Man, this is going to need some more space here. Sine 40 times 4.3. Woo, that is very long. In total, my calculator will give me about 5. Oh, this is such a weird number. Can I? Sure, let me give me a second. 52.87 times 10 to the power of 3. Power, right? Watts. So let's look for something close to 52.8 or 52.9. Hmm, closest is 53. So this whole escalator system, engine and all, will have to exert a power of 52.8 kilowatts. By the way, 10 to the power of 3 is kilo. La. So this is 53 kilowatts this much of power put in just to leave all this amount of people going up okay so that is this question escalators please remember draw your inclined planes if not you like confused like what force do i use so many force draw it out okay so that's all for this question any doubts just comment below see you in the next video